Hello, and welcome to another demo uh, for updates to Ameliorate. Uh, this time around, uh, I'll be demoing the blog post in the description below. Um, kind of a bunch of various features. Uh, the initial focus was on helping you view different aspects of your diagram, but I kind of uh, got into a couple of other things that I thought would be helpful. Uh, to start off, so the first thing uh, is that Simulator has new homepage. Uh, so you can check it out yourself, um, but I just wanted something that kind of better shows off what the tool can do and why you might want to use it. Um, so you know, it's got a couple of, uh, couple like, you know, use cases for the tool and you can click around examples of things um, to do with it. So you can take a look through that yourself. Um, but that's that. Uh, also, tutorials have been added. Uh, when you enter for the first time, it should highlight this question mark here. And uh, there's a couple different like kinds of tutorials. Um, the, it's kind of a complex app, so I wanted to break it down and make sure that each tutorial only has like a couple steps. Um, so it should only take, you know, like a minute or two to get through each one. Um, there's tutorials for builders if you want to uh, build your own diagram. Uh, it goes through a couple different basics, basic aspects of the tool. And as a viewer, you know, if you if you don't really care to view right away or to to build right away, um, but you're like trying to understand someone else's diagram, you can just kind of step through these. I'll just show the first one here. Just kind of talks about um, like what nodes mean and edges, how to read them, uh, the general layout that each diagram has, uh, how to score and what scores mean. And that's the whole thing. Uh, so you can see they're, they're pretty fast. Um, and I intentionally broke them out like that so they're easier to kind of get through. Um, yeah, so you can check those out. Hopefully they, they help. Uh, I wanted to make it easier for people to kind of figure out how to use the app because it's, yeah, it's a little, uh, there's a lot to it. Let's next. Quick views, quick views. Um, so on the left here, you can see... Uh, quick views are just different sets of filters. So in the previous update, I added um, different ways of filtering the the diagram, uh, and you can save now just like a set of filters as a view, so that you can quickly jump between uh, different aspects of uh, the diagram like so uh, just a nice convenient way to get around and other people know kind of what's important about your diagram just by seeing the quick views you've created for for them so that's here you know all structure is kind of like all of the problem details with the trade-offs and the solution details but uh, you can make separate uh, quick views for each of the solutions details all the solutions details, uh, the criteria table, etc. cetera. Uh, indicators are next on the list. Uh, if we look close to here, um, every node can have you know a bunch of extra details on it. If you click on the node, in the details pane, you can see you know, supports or critiques to the score. Um, you know, why, it's why this node is important or not. Uh, you can also see like questions about the node or facts and comments. That's another thing that was added. Well, there's indicators to make it easy to see kind of where this extra information lies. So if you're zoomed out, um, you can quickly see like, oh, the problem node here has a bunch of things. Uh, the detriment has a couple things. And you know that you don't have to go to the details of the other, the other nodes um, because they don't have indicators so that hopefully helps kind of navigate quickly understand kind of what's all in a diagram um yeah i mentioned comments that's the next thing on the list so you can add uh, i'm not logged in so I, I can't comment but um uh yeah any node or edge can can have comments you also if you're not selecting a node you can add comments 
to the topic in general um, to have discussion about it. Comments are intended for like unstructured conversation. You know, you, you have a general thing you want to say or ask about. Uh, it's just an easy way to add that. Uh, with with comments, there are also notifications. So uh, by default, um, if you are like the creator of the topic, you'll get an email if someone has commented um, on your topic. Or uh, if you're not the creator uh, and you've participated in a thread, then you can you also get emails um, for new re replies to that thread and. Yeah, well, I, I guess I'm not logged in to show that. It's not a big deal. Um, there'll be like a, a bell, like in a thread, there'll be a bell that you can like turn off if you don't want notifications. Um, and then if you just want to turn off all notifications for a topic, you can um, uh, at the top at the top of the details, this topic pane, there'll be a watch that you can just set to none or no notifications. Um, that's the bigger updates, uh, a bunch of smaller updates too. Um, the first is that to kind of enhance how you can filter, um, now you can filter specific nodes, kind of for specific nodes to show or hide, um, in a certain view. So you can right click any node to hide it. Um, there's also in the general filters down here, just a list of nodes to show or hide. So nodes to show would come in handy if you're maybe like so filtering out the causes, all of the causes you like turn them off, but you still want to show one of them loosely. And yeah, you show just that one. So the sh nodes to show is kind of like an override. An interesting thing here while we're at it, uh, handles for the nodes will turn blue if if there's a hidden node, um, a hidden neighbor to that node. So this node, $500 cost, is actually connected to a, one of the criteria that's hidden, looks like. So we can hover that and show that criteria. And uh, that was, yeah, this guy looks like, yeah. And then when you hide, hide it, yeah, it turns blue again. There's also, um, showing nodes based on um, their being neighbors to other nodes. So this can come in handy if you know we're looking at a, the whole diagram and we only really care about a one of the solutions. So you can like right click and only show this node and its neighbors. Um, it's a quick way to, to zoom in a little bit. And then there's a similar option that's also show node and its neighbors, which like additionally, it'll it'll keep all the current nodes that are showing, but it'll also, you know, show that node's neighbors like that. Be a nice way to, to travel around the diagram. Uh, there's also a flashlight mode, which does the also show node and its neighbors, uh, except it's just every time you click on a node. So here, boom, we just showed all that criteria's neighbors. Um, we can show all of this solution's neighbors by clicking on it. And it just kind of helps quickly expand the diagram. Um, in the more actions drawer, I added another layout, automatic layout configuration option to help your diagram look a little nicer in some cases. Um, by default, uh, the layout pre kind of prefers to keep node types near each other. So you can see these three causes are right next to each other. Um, it, it can be nice to you know, quickly look at the diagram when types are kind of put together. But it, like if we if we stop kind of laying out node types together, we can put more priority on um, making the, the whole diagram more balanced and keeping like node parents closer to the node children. Um, and that's what this layout thoroughness is for. Um, it can be a number one through a hundred. And if you increase the number, it'll put more priority on the overall balance. It'll kind of prioritize the overall balance of the, the diagram, um, over putting node types by each other. So when we do this set to a hundred, yeah, you can see like overall the diagram is a little more 
compressed, um, but the the causes are no longer like tied together. And I just found that it, it's sometimes I had wanted that behavior, um, but not all the time. So this is also isn't in the blog post, but I added this other uh, layer node islands together option, uh, just kind of an advanced one. If we hide all of the criteria here. You can see how like the solutions are just uh, well these solutions actually share a benefit so they're not islands this one doesn't share anything with the other ones um, once you hide you know the criteria and the problems so it kind of shows up separate like this but if we layer the islands kind of together it puts the solutions all on the same layer of the diagram the next thing is node fill Right, yeah, you may have noticed that the nodes are not filled with color as they previously were, like this. Um, I had some feedback and I agreed that um, the background being colored can sometimes make it hard to read the text because the colors are not perfect at contrasting. I might update the colors eventually to make that better, but um, part of the problem was also that it's just like a lot of saturated colors on the screen. Um, so I made this alternative um, view to put the colors on the outside of the node so that it's mostly, you know, white still um, easier to, maybe a little easier on the eyes. And I made that the, the default because I thought it was a little nicer, but it can still come in handy to fill the nose uh, with color if you're like really zoomed out and you just want to like get a feel for, you know, what the, the node types are. It can still be helpful. Split panes, the last thing um, of the things in the blog post, at least. Um, uh, you can also notice here that uh, the details pane is on the right and the views pane is on the left. Um, it used to all be in one pane, and it still is if you go to a smaller, uh, smaller viewport. Um, you know, you have your, if your monitor is smaller, you know, it'll put them into one pane with tabs. But when your screen gets wider, you don't really need, like here you can even see, like we're not really using the whole width of the, this diagram is kind of being wasted. Um, so it'll just automatically um, split into two panes so you can see more, kind of using more of that screen real estate. Um, efficiently so that's that's about it um next on the list uh to do for me i uh, i will be adding some a couple more features probably i've got still got a ton of ideas but uh, the main focus is going to be actually kind of more marketing um seeing like looking for opportunities um for me to help other people get benefit from the tool um, or also just to find more people interested in improving how people analyze problems. Um, so I'll probably be like posting about the tool in various forums and reaching out to people about it. Uh, if, in, in that regard, if you have any uh, ideas you want to use the tool for and you'd like to discuss them, I'm, I'd be happy to help. Or if you know anybody else that would be interested in the tool, um, yeah, don't hesitate to, to reach out. And I'll put uh, in the description of the video a uh, link to kind of how you can reach out, which is basically on Discord or uh, email or however, however you know how you can even comment on the video. So, yeah, that's, that's about it. So thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.